Welcome to your daily devotional, My Life Today, December, and Eternal Life. December 2nd, Keep the Commandments Blessed are they that do His commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. Revelation 22, verse 14 The conflict is before us. The only safety for any one of us now is to be one with Christ in God. We are to strive to enter in at the straight gate. But this gate does not swing loosely on its hinges. It will not admit doubtful characters. We must now strive for eternal life with an intensity that is proportionate to the value of the prize before us. It is not money or lands or position, but the possession of a Christ-like character that will open to us the gates of paradise. It is not dignity It is not intellectual attainments that will win for us the crown of immortality. Only the meek and lowly ones who have made God their sufficiency will receive this gift. To create the soul anew, to bring light out of darkness, love out of enmity, holiness out of impurity, is the work of omnipotence alone. The work of the infinite as he engages by the consent of the human being to make the life complete in Christ to bring perfection to the character is the science of eternity. What is the honor conferred upon Christ? Without employing any compulsion Without using any violence, he blends the will of the human subject to the will of God. This is the science of all true science, for by it a mighty change is wrought in mind and character, the change that must be wrought in the life of everyone who passes through the gates of the city of God. Then they that have kept God's commandments shall breathe in immortal vigor beneath the tree of life and through unending ages the inhabitants of sinless worlds shall behold in that garden eden of delight a sample of the perfect work of god's creation untouched by the curse of sin a sample of what the whole earth would have become had men but fulfilled the Creator's glorious plan. An Eternal Life, December 2nd